It was seven local news. Well, the boys are back in town. The Crocs have been boosted by the return of Brad Williamson and Russell Hinder for full training in a closed session today. But that's not before some of the squad put their feet up for some unusual match preparation. It's an interesting way to prepare for this weekend semi-final series, but the Crocs are clearly keen to get the edge over their opponents. Pedicures were the order of the day, the team getting buff ahead of the reptile rumble. Uh, they're very good. You've got to take care of the wheels. They're the tools of the trade and you've got to make sure they're all right. Hoping we get those feet massaged and we're hoping that'll just give them the, the edge over the Keynes Taipans on Friday night. And while some of his teammates were keen to avoid the attention, Brad Williamson wasn't afraid to own up to it. I'm not kicking no one with it, but it feels good in my cross trainers, I'll tell you that much. Williamson's got a right to feel good. The cast is now off his broken hand, but the veteran will have to play through the pain. Um, I did pretty much everything today. Uh, I definitely knew it was there, had tape on it, but uh, knew it was there for sure, but hopefully come Friday... The pain's decreased a hell of a lot. For Crocs rookie Ben Allen, having his partner in crime back on the court is a welcome change. It's really good. It's like he hasn't even had a rest either. He came out stroking the ball straight away and um, we got him open for a few three-pointers and he knocked him down. And Allen's got this message for overconfident tight hands. Um, there's no way they're getting that first game. We want it more than them and then we're going to go up there and get it in two. With the battle lines drawn, there's no denying the Crocs are bruised and battered. Russell Hinder's knee is still still on ice and undergoing twice daily physio. Yeah, about 70, 30, a little bit less, a little bit more. No, I'm 100%, 100% ready to go. Only divine intervention can save the Taipans now. Veronica Eggleton, 7 News.